<laughs> Guys, today we're gonna make an amazing carbonara. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it back home. And by that I mean, yes, if you had carbonara restaurants and all that, then they're using pork cheek, they're using pancetta, they're using whatever. But we're gonna use stuff that we have around the house already. And it's gonna make all the difference in the world because it's delicious and it's fast. 15 minutes to a delicious family meal that you can do at home. All right, let me show you how we do it. Today we're gonna make an amazing carbonara, but we're gonna put a little twist on it because instead of using like bacon or pancetta, uh, we're gonna use sausage. I mean, look at these big, beautiful guys. And these things came from uh, friends of ours that have a uh, free range pork ranch. And so thank you guys, we appreciate it. Guys, I'm gonna show you the best sheet in the world. And that is this. I'm gonna make the carbonara with meatballs pork meatballs instead of the uh, instead of the usual bacon or whatever, right? And check this out. The casings are perfect for this. All I'm doing is I'm gonna squeeze it out. Boom, meatball. Look at this. Again, they just come out perfectly. And I just give it a little squeeze in my hand because these aren't gonna be, you know, perfect round spherical meatballs. It's gonna be a little rustic because you get that in, in Italy, right? You get that the benefit of being able to be a little bit more rustic. And that doesn't mean sloppy, it just means that it's done with love, in my opinion. All right, anyway. Look how easy these, comes out. these come out. Oh, that one came out the back end, he's a little guy, so we'll keep an eye on him, but that means we're gonna do the same thing on this one. All right, casing off, and boom, right there. Now what I want you to notice most importantly is probably the fact that the pan is cold and there's a reason for that, all right? Normally if we're gonna sear meat or whatever we're doing, um, we're gonna have the pan hot when we put the oil in and we want it to come up to temp before we put the meat in so we can get a hot, fast sear. That's not what I'm looking for here. There's a beautiful fat layer in, this, uh, in these meatballs because it's, it's a pork meatball and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna render out some of that fat and that's what's gonna help emulsify, which is a fancy word for make sauce, right? Uh, we're gonna just make sauce with it. So these meatballs are going in and there you have it. That was two sausages. Look how beautiful that is. All right, and then I'm gonna turn it on. Starting with a cold pan is what allows that fat to render. So now I crank it up to a mid heat um, usually in the eight, seven, eight range. And that's, a, that's gonna give you exactly the heat you're interested in uh, to render that out. Okay, a little bit of olive oil and we're good to go. Me, I gotta hit it with a little bit of salt. And then I haven't salted the water yet because, well, I wanted it to come up to a boil. The reason being is because I'm using a, uh, I'm using a stainless steel pan and what that can do, like if you put in like kosher salt or whatever, uh, without the water boiling, then you can actually pit your uh, stainless pan or your bowl, or stainless pot or pan, all right? So, these guys are gonna come up, they're gonna render, and I'm gonna drop my noodles in. These are fettuccine noodles, uh, so it's super simple, man. All I'm gonna do is this. Hold, give it a little twist, as to not break, and then drop. Because I want this fanning effect to happen. And what that's gonna do is, as the uh, noodles break down and they start to cook, it's gonna drop in the water. I'm gonna give them a little bit of encouragement. If I can find my, <coughs> I can find my songs. But look how this is going, like they already dropped in, right? And boom, now we're going. Okay, so what's gonna happen is this is gonna take, uh, fettuccine for my taste is gonna be right in the eight minute range, maybe seven. It depends on what your family likes. If you like it more al dente, then you know, cut the time. Uh, if you like it a little softer, then you know, obviously cook it longer. But either way, my recommendation is pull a noodle out, taste it, and see what you like. Okay, so uh, this is gonna start coming up to temp, and as it does, Noodles are boiling. Actually, I'm gonna bring that down just a bit. Or bring that down just a bit. And as that happens, 
I want to show you something really cool. Okay, let's do this. Here's my towel. Oh. I almost wiped that on my pants. I would have gotten in trouble for that. Check this out. If you have a mortar and pestle, which some of us do. Oh, shit. No, wait. Damn. Oh, wait. I forgot. I need one little clove of garlic. Golly, look at the size of that thing. Beautiful. All right. And tough. This is like the Fort Knox of, Fort Knox of garlic. But look at the size of that thing. This is beautiful. The reason I'll, check this out. I'm just gonna smash it with my hand a little bit. If you wanna pull the husk off, do it. If you don't, that's fine too. The reason being, Check this out, it's going right in. But. And you just pop. Now the reason I'm not dicing that or doing anything crazy with it is because the oil itself is gonna pull that flavor out of the garlic. Because this isn't a garlic dish. I mean, otherwise I'd be slicing and mincing and doing everything. Let me check my pasta, give it a little spin. Oh, that's looking beautiful. All right, so. Now I'm feeling a little bit of the pressure, right? Because we're trying to make this fast. And I've been talking a lot and not cooking a lot. What I'm gonna do is this, watch. Uh, fresh peppercorns, these come right out of Costco. Going in the, woo! Talk about aromatic, man. That's nice, that's nice. I'm gonna do this, pop, pop. Man, I love cooking so much. Bringing the joy to my family and friends. Those flavors, everything. That, man, pretty awesome. This guy's going here. Check these out, these peppercorns. The only thing I'm gonna do is, that's probably way too many, but I don't care, I'm doing it anyway. I'm just going in with it, and I'm gonna give it a good smash. That was way too many. I guess we're gonna be eating peppercorns for days now. I'm going in, I'm giving it a good smash. And by the way, if you don't have a porter and mestle, uh, a porter and mestle, if you don't have a mestle and porter, then it's no big deal, man. Just grab some white pepper and you're gonna be in business. I've ground my pepper. This is where it gets interesting. Watch this. Bring the plate over. Check this out. That's the first grind of the pepper. What's interesting about this is you can see that it's a little bit whiter in color and the difference is What's left after you strain it is the fact that that's the hull, right? That's the black part. Inside of it is the little bit more spicy, a little bit more aromatic. Okay. So that's done. Pepper is going in. My knee balls are closed. Come check this out. But I just dropped that pepper right in there. I'm gonna move it around. We're starting to make, oh, nice, this little, oh, I love that. I'm gonna do this. Bring in a little bit of that starchy water in here. Let's gonna loosen that up. A little bit more. I don't wanna get all those good leavings out of there. Mm, mm, mm. Man, the smell of this is so amazing. Golly. Let me check my pasta. Okay, so we're getting close. I can tell by the color. Oh, that guy wants to come out anyway. Let me drop him on the board and give him a taste. Beautiful. All right, so this is starting to, uh, this is starting to emulsify just a little bit. I'm gonna check my pasta. Still a little al dente for me, but it's getting close. 
let's get to the egg. Right? We are making a carbonara after all. Egg in. From here, I'm gonna put in a little bit of Parmesan. And yes, this is grated Parmesan because, well, what day is it? Thursday, it's a Thursday night. So I'm gonna put in a little bit of Parmesan and this is gonna be a quick, super fast dinner. I, mean, I don't even know what time we're up to right now, but it can't be that long, right? The pasta's only been cooking for a few minutes. Okay. Very straightforward. It's egg and grated parm. Now, this is where it becomes carbonara. I'm gonna bring it over, check my meatballs. Boy, those look good. You need to be tasted. All right, I have just a little bit of salt. Out. Pasta, pasta looks delicious. All right, so most people at this point would what? Strain their pasta. Don't do that. We're just gonna grab it up as we can and it's going right in. Look at that. We're bringing in some of the water with it, and then that's what's going to make help create some of our sauce. Right? Get in there. Oh, come on. Everybody in the pool. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Beautiful. Love that. All right. Now listen. Let me grab a light because I want a little bit more of that. And just to make it easier on myself, I'm gonna use a ladle. All right, now listen. Come in close, come in close. You hear that little pop? There's little pops. I'm gonna kill the heat. I'm gonna move it off. The reason being is because I want to stop the cooking process. At this point, if you were to put the eggs in, you'd get scrambled eggs, okay? I don't want that. Right? I want that sauce to emulsify with the uh, with the fat from the sausage. Okay, a little bit of that Parmesan, and then as this cools just a little bit, which I need a little bit more water. That pasta water is like the magic. And then we're moving it around, and then here we go. Once that cools off, oh yeah. Mm. The reason I love the Italian sausage for this quick dish is because it's already seasoned, right? I don't have to go in and, and do a whole bunch of stuff with it. All right. I'm gonna move this around as I, as I put it in slowly, because that egg is gonna become part of that sauce, and then that sauce is gonna become part of the awesome that we call it. Um, Yes, I know this is a little bit different than you're used to seeing, um, mainly because it's using sausage instead of bacon, but that's what I had. You know what? And that's the beauty of uh, Italian cooking, is the fact that, oh my gosh, look in there. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's the beauty of Italian cooking. They cooked with what they had. That's what pasta came from. Um, and that's why they actually chose to cook it al dente, because it was more toothsome, uh, to use kind of a chef word, but basically that meant it felt more like meat, so they felt like they were getting a heartier dish. All right, this guy is ready and beautiful. Okay, let's play. All right, so what happened was that egg emulsified into that sausage, uh, that sausage oil, <laughs> sausage fat, and it became a beautiful sauce, which I'm gonna thin out just a little bit more before I plate. Hit it with that, give it a stir. Now every noodle's covered, every meatball's covered. The garlic, I don't know if you can see it, but it's falling apart and it's dark and beautiful. And if you want to eat that, 
I recommend it. If you don't, just discard it. That's fine too. But either way, take your tongs. And plate it up gracefully, as I just did. If you have a if you have a pasta fork, then please use it. If not, mm, then don't worry about it. Just clean your plate afterwards like I usually do. All right, let's get those meatballs on there. A couple of noodles, apparently. Give me that, give me that. Oh, don't get a close up yet. I haven't cleaned the plate. Oh my gosh. This carbonara, carbonara smells delicious though. Let me tell you. Mmm. Golly, that smells good. And I'm gonna hit it with just one more hit of salt. One more hit of parm. If you have fresh parm, please use it. Um, someone in my kitchen used all my fresh parm. So I'm using canned. But it works, right? It's Thursday night. Please finish it off with that beautiful pepper that you made earlier, that you ground. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna clean the plate just for a little presentation so you guys can get a good idea what it looks like. Oh, get over there, meatball. All right, it's close. That is a, well, probably since I talk so much, probably a 15 minute carbonara that uh, was made with sausage. So what do you think? Should we try it? Let's try it. Where's that fork? First thing I'm gonna try is that meatball. I tasted it earlier. Mm. It's so good that egg yolk gives it such a richness to the whole dish that it's amazing. Let me see. I'm gonna go in there and get a big bite of that pasta. Ooh, it's hot. Mmm. Man, that's musk. Mmm. Pasta. It's a perfect al dente. I'm not hit over the head with the garlic, but you get that back end that is brilliant. That pepper, if you don't have it, do yourself a favor, get a mortar and pestle and, uh, and grind that sucker yourself because it makes a huge difference. And then uh, of course the, the Italian meatballs. And listen, you can do the same thing for your family in like 15 minutes, you know, just increase the portions and it cooks all about the same time. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, this is, Sausage carbonara, olivino, I guess as it were. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Guys, this was too good to wait. So you know what, for more deliciousness and more awesome, subscribe. Oh yeah.